Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video in Azure, I will show you how to create a backup policy to protect your environment running within Azure. So in order to do that, the first thing you have to do is to create a recovery service vault. It is basically the terminology which uh, uh, Microsoft uses for storing the data. It is like a storage repository. And uh, let's give a name. I don't have any resource group, so I'm going to create one. Let's go inside the recovery service vault and you can click on backup. And this allows you to protect not only your on-prem infrastructure, but also your Azure uh, infrastructure and Azure stack. So let me just pick Azure because I just want to show you uh, what are the options when you try to create a policy and what you want to back up? It's a virtual machine, but if you want now, Azure can all uh, recovery service vault can also use to back up your Azure file share SQL Server in case you're running, and you click on backup. Now here, if I can expand this, you see that you have a default policy which will run the backup at 12 a.m. and you can choose your time zone and retain the data. Uh, for 30 days but if you want to create your custom you can go and click on create you have to give a name so what Azure backup does is that it follows uh, grandfather father and son policy so basically what does that mean is grandfather backups are done uh, monthly Father backups are done weekly and uh, son backups are done daily and you can choose your uh, retention time. So if I can explain this, so imagine this is my, this is whole month, right? So say on a specific day, say, say on Sunday, I'll run a father backup. And then all the other days in the week, it will be all sun's backup. And this will follow for the rest of the month. And at the end of the month, uh, I will do a grandfather backup, which will be the backup for the for the whole month it, it will have uh, the complete system state like the complete backup for the grandfather but this is the uh, this is the uh, scheme that uh, uh, azure backup follows is grandfather father and son grandfather are monthly father are weekly and son are daily right so if i go to the portal you can see i can specify I can run daily backup. I can specify the time. Say I want to back this up at uh, maybe 11 p.m. The systems are not consumed at that time, so it's an off-peak time for me. You can specify your time zone. You can choose uh, instant recovery snapshot for how many days you want. You can keep between one to five days. Then. You can choose retention of your uh, daily backup points. So I can choose whatever according to the company policy. I can uh, select that. Then for the retention of your weekly backup points, uh, I can uh, again specify for how long I want to keep. Say. Then retention of your monthly backup point, I can also specify. So I will leave that to the default. And you can also have retention of your yearly backup point. Now Azure gives you uh, the flexibility of uh, keeping your uh, backed up data for uh, 99 years. So it is 10 years right now, but if I change it to 
99 that's the maximum time we can keep the data so if I go and choose 100 you will see that uh, you get an exclamation mark so that's that's the beauty right you can keep your data saved confidently and it will be there for you for for next 99 years in case uh, there is that kind of need to keep the data for that long and you can click on OK and uh, your backup policy will be created and that specific time so in this case 11 p.m. daily our backup will run but as I explained this backup policy uses a grandfather father son scheme and grandfather our uh, backups are done uh, once a month father backups are done weekly and uh, son backups are done uh, daily so I, I hope this gives you an idea about uh, what the backup policy and how you create that Thanks for watching. Have a good day.